After that, we are meeting now. <laughs> Seventeen years. Well, so I know Chef Venkatesh, but as a chef in Bengaluru, so today you're a hugely popular personality here in uh, Tamil Nadu. I don't think there's a food personality who's touched so many hearts <laughs> like your show has, right? God has been kind. Yeah. Thirty years on the range, in fire. I have learnt. Begging people, Anna, tell me, sir. Tell me. Ah, tell me. What is that? It's secret. It's the only thing that bundle. It's the only body that I get. It's the only thing. What is that? I see in front of me in the in the camera a 19-year-old girl, a 20-year-old boy going to US. Yeah. 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 Ye
Oh, and food. You are uh, the CEO of this hotel. Accord Group of Hotels. Accord yes. Group of Hotels. You're a TV presenter. Yeah. You're a YouTuber. You're a businessman in your own right, from what I hear about your recent endeavors. Yeah. So you wear many hats. I'm the one wearing one <laughs> hat, but you are actually the one wearing many hats. It is an opportunity that comes your way uh, and you make use of it. I would even say I'm opportunistic. I got an opportunity. I did not let go of things that was ha already happening. I found time for the new thing that came by and I juggle between things. But I if I give 10 minutes to something, I give my full 10 minutes truthfully for that. Mm. So if I'm working for nine hours in this hotel, I'll give my nine hours for this hotel. Mm. If there is two hours that I need to do for my YouTube, I will spend two hours for my YouTube. Even today, there is no external agency that is hired to manage my YouTube channel. Algorithms are done by me, uh, set by me, uh, monitored by me. And I make sure that uh, the video goes on live Tuesdays and Fridays. Correct. It's I've noticed that. Mm -hmm. You're quite religious about yes, it. Yes. I think there's a great deal of, I think even from that time, I remember mm -hmm. Uh, if Chef Venkatesh Bhatt said this will be done, <laughs> that's the way it would be done. You want to do it, you do it right. With your you, heart. Yeah, you do it right. Good of it. Uh, you design and you do it right. It so happened that when COVID struck, we want to do the YouTube channel, I did it. I said, okay, now there should be some system in it. I My videos will not exceed 25 minutes. Okay. It will never go about 25 minutes. And it will release on Tuesdays and Fridays. People can watch, wait and watch, saying that today's Tuesday, Venkatesh Bhatt's video will release. In none of the videos, I will say subscribe to my channel, uh, so bell, 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 ring the bell button, mm. all that I will not do. This channel is as an encyclopedia. This is my hard earned knowledge that I am sharing with you. I am giving it for free. Mm. Whether I make money with it, whether I have sponsors with it, it's none of your business. You want to share it? Yes, my learnings. 30 years on the range, in fire, I have learnt. Begging people, Anna, <laughs> please, health sir. Tell me. Ah, yeah. tell me. What <laughs> is that? It's not a secret. It's not a bundle. It's not a secret. So I have begged and learned it. Uh. And I'm just giving it away like that. Uh. I'm just giving it away like that. But that is the intention. My learning, I want it to be useful for a lot of people. See, that's why, see, my rasam is 14 minutes. Rasam, no video is more than 4 minutes or 4 and a half minutes. Your mine is 14, 14 minutes. minutes. But mine will have each and every mistake that you might land up doing. Uh, what is the rectification, how to avoid it and how to get a rasam without making a mistake. When I look at your YouTube videos and I have seen a few of them, you come across not as somebody speaking to them from a position of strength or expertise. Yeah. So you come across as that friend who is guiding the person attempting to make the dish through every process. Very true. And even when you tell them something, you actually tell them, this is what I did once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? This is what could go wrong. Yeah. But this is what I, yes. how I fixed if you, it. If you watch the videos carefully, you will know that I would never have repeated in this 400 recipes, not once, we have reshot a dish. Ah. If it is a mistake, it is a mistake and it shall be shown. Ah. I made a mistake. I should have added this before. I added it last. I forgot because of which the dish has turned out like this. Ah. So if so you it's don't, real. If you, it's real. So if you add it in the beginning, it will become like this. So don't be surprised when your dish comes better than mine. Ah. And that is what will go on air. So it's not like there are multiple. There's a dish to be shown, dish ah. to be shot, nothing like that. Wh what I start cooking is the. The finishing. The finishing is what is shown. So there's a lot of integrity in the show. In your case, of course, you've got a television journey and now this hugely successful YouTube journey. I think sometimes people ask, what's that quick method to do it? But there's no quick method, right? <laughs> there, it's no, there is no quick quick method for success. Hard work is the only way. It's And so it's values and principles that you hold dear true, to you, which true. come in the... In, yeah, see, uh, I was very clear, clear with the, uh, the core ethics of this this thing that I started. This was started to share my knowledge to people who value learning. Mm. This is not a channel for a person who knows to make rasam. Mm. If you want it, you can see it. Might be a person who knows to make rasam, might criti criticize it. Mm. That is, This channel is not for him. Mm. If it was for him, I would have told ring the bell button, subscribe <laughs> this channel, all that I would have told. <laughs> this channel is for people who want to make a difference in their life. I see in front of me in the, in the camera, a 19 year old girl, uh. a 20 year old boy going to US, uh. somebody who is married and come in now who doesn't know anything about South Indian food. Uh, I want those people to do it. Oh, I don't good. attempt fusion. I don't do confusion. I will do what? what uh, yes. What I have learned. What you've learned from people yes. who came before you. Yes. yes.
we are at this beautiful restaurant. This is what the PDR of yeah. uh, Royal Indiana. The private dining room of Royal Indiana. It's such a privilege to be sitting here and um, sharing this table with him. And of course, drinking some uh, Vasantanir. Vasantanir. Tender yeah. coconut with some mint, saffron, honey. So tell me more about this restaurant. Should we just walk around this yeah, restaurant? Yeah, come. Mm. Royal Indiana is huh. uh, a celebration of Indian food. Okay. Uh, it's a buffet restaurant, open right. for lunch and dinner. 100% vegetarian. Okay. There is no egg, there is no gelatin also used. The whole desert, you have about 20 deserts. None of the deserts have egg or gelatin used in it. Huh. And then there is a buffet section which has South Indian and North Indian food. Okay. And there is live bread made there. Okay. And as soon as you sit down, there's a welcome drink that is served. There's about eight starters that is served on the table. Okay. And then after the starters, the main course is the buffet that you come and pick what you want. Okay. To eat. The menu has been curated by me. Okay. Now, this is about two and a half years old uh, now. Uh, this is, I would say, the flagship restaurant of this uh, this hotel. So uh, most of the events happening here is the 80th birthday, 50th wedding anniversary. My party used to make this dish. So that's why I came here. Uh, that's the type of clientele we have. It's okay. the people who do not have a choice of having original vegetarian food. This restaurant is about uh, six years old. Now for the past two and a half years, it has all the recipes, most of the recipes of my YouTube channel. Because oh. people come and ask, Venkatesh uh, much that dish we want to taste and all that. So most of the dishes here are my recipes. And if they're lucky, they also get to see you here. Of course, there's a lot of photo shoot that keeps happening here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, must be a big draw as well, right? Yeah. Because I think in, uh, especially in Tamil Nadu, I find that uh, if people, people literally almost worship, uh, uh, if that's the right word see, to use, uh, you know, someone. Uh, there is hero worship uh, that is at uh, the helm of it, but it is a very, very tricky thing uh, to be popular, mm. especially in Tamil Nadu. They take you to the heights of Himalayas. If they think that you are X and they take you to the top of Himalayas, and if you're not that X, and in X and Y, they drop you from there. <laughs> you're gone. You're gone just below the ocean. You need to be truthful. If you're truthful mm. and if you're one among them, then you are demigod for them. Like we said right at the beginning, a meeting Chef Venkatesh But Sorry, if, is it okay if I address you <laughs> yes. as Chef? Uh, it's an honor. <laughs> you know, uh, because that's how I know him. And I'm meeting you after 17 years, but it seems like time has stood still. That distance of 17 years, because you're exactly what I remember you from that time. You're very forthright, your smile, mm -hmm. your demeanor, <laughs> nothing has changed. Huh? I think that comes from integrity, that comes from honesty, that's, yeah. that comes from not wanting to create some sort of subterfuge. Correct. I do not talk about what I don't know. Huh. But when I talk, I talk what I know and I huh. talk with authority. From what I remember then, your family too yes. comes from... Yes, hotelier. My grandfather is from the Dasa Prakash Woodlands uh, side. Okay. Uh, my father is a hotelier. My sister is married into a hotelier family. So you come from a background of food. Yeah. And that's what you're taking forward. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> I think all this talk about food has gotten me excited. <laughs> has got my palate going. I think it's time to get back to the table and take a look at uh, what's cooking here in Chef Venkatesh Bhatt's Royal Indiana. Just come along, I'll show you the buffet. Yeah. There will be some dishes that will have my name, Royal Indiana Rasam, Chef's English much Speciality. So what makes your Rasam special? I make it. <laughs> <laughs> Kerala Sambar is my special. This is uh, ground coconut, okay. tempered with coconut oil. Okay. Uh, the recipe changes, it has coconut and cumin. Coriander is less, the cumin is more. Okay. So that type of a Sambar. Enna Katrika is my speciality. Uh, the brinjal, the I remember this from India. even... Uh, South Indies South and Indies, Leela yes. we used to have. The Parupu Usuli, that uh. is a famous dal dish with vegetables. This one is with broad beans. Yeah. Avara Kalu is famous yeah. in Mangalore. So they use the Kalu. Kalu, correct. Here we use the bean, broad bean. The inside bean is removed, the outer skin is chopped and made. And this is another specialty of mine. Murungakai Paya. The lamb trotter Paya uh. is there. Same recipe but with drumstick. Okay. Uh, this is a very, very uh, special uh, dish from one of the communities in Tamil Nadu. That part of it is South Indian. In the same way, uh, there are South Indian starters that is served on the table. Okay. And then half the buffet is North, North Indian. Indian. So there are 50 percent of the starters that come on the table are North Indian. So this caters to North Indian and South Indian, and the menu keeps changing. Okay. Uh, the menu is not repeated uh, for 35 days. Every 35 days, the same menu comes again. Comes back. And six months, that cycle is used. And then there is another cycle that is used for the next six months. 
So there is a very less probability of you actually encountering the exactly. same. Exactly. I and mean, when you say the menu changes, all the dishes change. Except for the steam rice and rasam, everything else. Ah, <laughs> the rasam, of course, how can that change? Because that is made by Chef Venkatesh but himself. I can actually visualize this. The rasam is here. Chef Venkatesh but must be in the kitchen itself. Bring him out. I want to take a picture with him. What rice is that? Karwe play podi saga. Ah, curry leaf. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. This Good. also is a very different biryani. Ambur biryani made mm. with jeera ke sambar rice. So, so, with so the tomato paste, with yes, the yes, red yes. chilies and all of that. So, there's a lot of research still that you find time to do because I know that you're a very research oriented chef. See, the thing is, it's, it's ongoing. There are certain festivals that we do here ah. for which we will require to travel. So, mm. I put my contacts in and I send the boys there. I say that these are the dishes that I learned when I came for research. Mm. Because there are four teams of two chefs each who travel the four states. Which, organized, which was organized by the Taj. This is when you were doing the research for... Uh, yes, the Southern Spice. Southern Spice, spice yeah. correct. Now, I renew my contacts there, I send boys there and say that centric to this festival, uh, teach something for them. So they let them come back with 8 or 10 unique recipes. So we did the Kurk festival. We sent people, uh, we learned yeah. it from one Mr. Madapa's house. The family traditional house is there, so we yeah. went and uh, learned. I, I remember still learning Oduputtu, yeah. all, all those things that time. The so, Paputtu, yeah. and all that. <laughs> Kodam, Kodam uh, so, that time, I mean, it was it was so new to us uh, back then, th hearing about Kachambuli. So, we Kachin, only knew yeah. about Kokum, we only knew about Tamarind. We never knew about Kachambuli. Kachambuli is very, very, uh, it, in its own right, it is just for Kur. Uh, it has been explored only in Kur cuisine. Yes. We took out from that and we tried to do some dishes from Tamil Nadu using Kachambuli. Uh, uh, so, we did a festival with Kur and Tamil Nadu. Uh, combined. combined. Safroji cuisine uh, in Tanjau, uh, having Maharashtrian roots but Tamil Nadu ingredients. So, in that cuisine, we incorporated this Kachampuli uh, from Kur because there is a lot of tamarind that is used in that cuisine. So, we wanted to use that uh, tamarind instead of the regular tamarind and make a difference and make a festival. Mm. So, we, we did that festival here. So, it was a roaring success. <laughs> and that's another thing that uh, binds us, not in terms of his. Uh, acclaimed culinary acumen and his expertise but the fact that we also made a beginning at the same place at the Taj. <laughs> uh, so I think there are more connections than one that I'm discovering as I am uh, meeting Chef Venkatesh but once again after 17 years. Wonderful, wonderful uh, memories, wonderful memories. When you said that you are in Chennai, I readily agreed upon meeting you because of the fact that it is, it is so nice to see a person who is sharing the same type of passion yeah. in various fields relating to food. Yes. Uh, you, don't, you don't take it for granted. You, yes. don't, you don't allow it to rest. You will go and you will do it yourself. See it, be there and get it done. Yes. That is passion. Yes. Uh, you could have, you could have dedi dedicated it to so many people. In so many occasions I would have seen. This could have been done by somebody else but you are there. Uh, you do it, you talk, you walk it and you experience it and give it to the people. So th that's, that's, and day in day out, you do it continuously. I'm, I'm sure that your YouTube channel is about 10 to 15, 12 years old. No, my YouTube channel is only about 4 years old. YouTube is only 4, but yeah. your my, uh, magazine is about... Uh, my journey with the magazine is from 2004. 4, yeah. 20 years now. Yeah. Uh, so, and back then, Food Lovers book yeah. uh, was as good as uh, any international magazine, yes. the quality of print, the paper use, the glossy ones. It used to be proud to hold it yes. uh, and the Food Lovers Guide. Yes. Uh, but there was a reason to it, you know, my whole philosophy was looking at the incredible work that you, that your community of culinarians were doing, I felt that the medium that made an attempt to try and showcase it should also be, so <laughs> be as special <laughs> as the people we were celebrating uh, and, and their food. And you have done it exceeding it. <laughs> <laughs> These are our traditions that brought us to where we are. We have a responsibility to carry it into the future. Correct. For me, I am a little uh, old school. Uh, let me do the basics right first, what I have learned mm. from the scratch. Now that is eliminating. Yeah. That is dying. That shouldn't go. That shouldn't go. That shouldn't go. Your roots should always yes, remain. Yeah. Your basics should be intact. Don't change the DNA of the dish. Uh, you call it a mint rasam, you better well put mint. Don't say I am replacing it with parsley and making it novel. <laughs> that's not done. That's not done. Don't change the DNA of the dish. Fantastic. <laughs> I think on that note, we head to the table. Yeah. <laughs> so 
how did this switch happen from being a chef to the CEO of a hotel group? See, while I was with uh, Leela, I was a chef. Uh. So from the Taj, I came. I joined Leela's. Uh. I was there for six years. I went on to become the corporate chef for South Indian food. Then South Indies happened. It was a restaurant chain, Correct. and uh, I joined in as a CEO. Then they wanted me to come out of the chefs thing and look into management, uh. Uh, funding. Expansion, all those things. I went to Nanyang University in Singapore. Did a Cornell degree there oh, for really? general management. We did a course there and we came Why back. Walay thindu the banana stem. Yeah, walay thindu parpu chal. It's ah, banana stem and dal. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, we started bounce south, up south, and then we put business heads for various verticals and all that. So that is where I learned my management traits. So that is where I started as a CEO. I was there for about six years with them. The owners of Accord are known to me from the Taj days. Okay. So when I came and joined, uh, I came as a CEO. There was only one hotel, Metropolitan, where we are sitting now. Then we started Accord Pondicherry, okay. which, uh, which is in Pondicherry, which is a 110 room five star hotel. And then we started Accord Highland Uti, which is in Dottabetta. And then we opened Kalden Samudra, which is a Rajasthani palace by the beach. Uh, in Mahabalipuram. Surprised that you are able to do so many different things <laughs> and all with a certain amount of enthusiasm and passion. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the uh, beauty is, I have been fortunate to have good people with me and... Uh, a good team. Uh, yeah, I delegate most of the work. So, a wonderful young team. Every property has its own general manager. Okay. I don't involve myself with the day-to-day -day operations. If you see Accord whole group, the core value is only one, service from the heart. I will not have a Morano chandelier, I will not have a Rolls Royce standing in the portico. But even if I take you in a Maruti car, I will have my whole heart in doing it uh, peacefully, neatly and take you safely. That is what I will concentrate on. That is the philosophy. Speaking of concentration, I think it's time to pay on it. Some attention <laughs> to this banana stem. Yeah, and Varathan to Parupusar. What lentils go into this? This one is Moong Dal and Kadla Parupu. The spices that go into it are all aromatic spices. Okay. Uh, except for one, which is the Red chilli, uh, which is uh, the Bediga chilli that is uh, pounded along with all the other spices. The warmth comes from the pepper? Yeah, it's from the pepper. And uh, the speciality of this soup is the dal, both the dal, lentils are yeah. roasted and powdered. It is not the cooked, boiled dal. So this is like the parupu podi? Parupu podi. Ah. The parupu podi is cooked with the uh, varathandu. And what do you do to the varathandu? You kind of... Uh, they remove the, uh, strings, the strings and then it is boiled along with the parupu powder. But how come I'm not getting any of the varathandu? It's completely strained. Wonderful. You know, when you talk about uh, Indian cuisine, it makes use of so many elements when it comes to ingredients, right? And the banana, the plantain is one yeah, example of that, right? Where you can use every... Every part of the tree. Every part of the tree. True. And a lot towards edible purposes. True. And the coconut tree, huh. which is the Kalpa Vriksha. Kalpa Vriksha, the yeah. tree of life. Yeah, the tree of life. The banana, f the tree is everything except for the leaf. Even the leaf is used for cooking. And uh, our tradition says that we have to eat in a banana leaf Correct. with hot rice, anything that is hot, because the chemical reaction that happens from the banana leaf because of the heat and that flavor is divine. It's divine. There's always something special about eating of a banana leaf. Yeah. There's a science to it, right? Kandita, 100%. Uh, 100%. Why? Uh, I like the way he still says things like Kandita. <laughs> so he may have left Bengaluru, but Bengaluru. Has not left it. Illa pa, naanu pakka Mangalore ano. Correct. And mother tongue Tulu. Mother tongue Tulu. Do you say what you speak at home? Yeah, that's what I speak at home. Tulu is my mother tongue, and that's what I speak at home. Ah. I'm born and brought up in Chennai, but my roots are from Udupi. So in fact, Chennai. That's the other interesting thing I've been discovering, especially when it comes to the vegetarian restaurant community. Yeah. Most of them are from South Canada, right? Twenty-five years back, it was only by the Udupi people. Okay. You see only Udupi restaurants. Then Sarana Bhavan happened. What Udupi restaurants did not uh. do was, they gave the best of food, but they did not give importance to the hygiene or the cleanliness that much as what Sarana Bhavan gave. He opened the kitchen to the public. He made everybody see the kitchen. He brought in the concept of putting banana leaf on a steel tali and giving it. Uh. He brought in the system of putting everything as stainless steel. That fellow will be in a uniform. Uh. So that made Sarana Bhavan so popular. And the Udupi hotels took a sec back seat. But unfortunately or fortunately, South Indian food, it started with an idli and ended with dosa. That's Somewhere it, it, it hurts. Because South Indian has a repertoire of every 100 kilometers there is a different sambar that is made. It is not just because it has to change. 
yeah. the ingredients changed the chili that was grown here and it grown in tanjavur was completely different the tanjavur sirwani water was so different from the water of chennai mm. so the same coconut grown there the chutney was so different and the same coconut chutney with the same recipe will be different here will be different yeah so it, it's so beautiful the yeah. ingredients the the play of the ingredients the mattugulla that that uh, ah that brinjal the bitterness will never come out yes never and it's so pulpy yes it is like an orange yes that's from udupi temple udupi, that's right uh, vadi raja swami ji gave it to the people offering. of matti yeah uh, the village of matti was in drought yeah. so vadi raja swami gave a mushti of that seeds to the village people and ah, they threw it so and the matti gulla came it still grows only there in Correct. the way it is so tasty there only That video of Puneet Rajkumar Appu with you, it brought tears to my eyes. Jolla the roti uta. Jolla the roti uta. Beautiful human being. He yeah. is such a down to earth, uh, nice person. Such a superstar son. Yeah. He himself is a superstar. People adore him. There is no air. He and his brother both, they don't have an air around them. That's the beauty. That's life. Very rooted. Alla paniyaram, kuri paniyaram, pundu dosa. from what i see the food is very wholesome it's not uh, trying to be very pretentious it it's is original that one there that's uh, a vella paniyaram you take the rice in this tumbler flat uh, and then you take urad dal and keep putting on top of the rice okay adu gopura tara eshtu nillato ashada uddadike oh really adhe lekka ashada adan haaki bitta aribeku adan ardu immediately you can start making it so this is the poo i put Oh, banana flour, coconut and banana. Oh, okay. Cooked, steamed. Okay, the garlic dosa. Yeah. That's oh, the banana, banana flour. Oh, banana blossoms. Yes. Ah, the potatoes. <laughs> yes. This is what I remember. <laughs> For some reason, I have formed this very strong association <laughs> of you and this South dish. South Indies. Dumpalagaram, <laughs> yeah. And I think at one point for the magazine, we also did a recipe of this. Yes. Dumpalagaram. Yes. Dumpalagaram. <laughs> Goli soda. Anybody in Tamil Nadu will associate uh, in their young younger days, childhood days. With a Goli soda. Yeah, uh, paneer Goli soda is very very popular. Ah, fantastic. Who <laughs> will I put to? Mm. That's something that I haven't tasted <laughs> before. This is the coconut and banana. And banana. Mm. Mm, ripe banana, super ripe. <laughs> and I love the grainy bite of the mm. coconut in that. Huh? And the sweetening the is what jaggery? Jaggery, cardamom powder, and it's mixed with rice rava, steamed. So that is why you get that granular texture. So this is a dish that comes from where? This puvai puri is from Chennai. Hmm, very popular. South Kerala food, we do that gatti sort of mm. thing. No? Very similar. Also na kai gatti. Also na kai gatti. Same type. But this one In is the banana. Kerala there is something called valsan. They do do with the coconut mm. filling with the rice paste on a banana leaf. Delicious. This is the pund dosa. Oh, I love that crisp crunch of that dosa. Mmm, very flavorful. That chutney is very very good. The garlic. Mm. Garlic, red chilli. Well, that's delicious. <laughs> so it's basically the masala that goes into a masala dosa. Masala dosa. Maison masala dosa. What are you talking about? Are it ginger oil? Oh, with the uh, ginger oil, sesame oil. Sesame oil. Hmm. That is a dosa that really warms up the caram, <laughs> the pungency of the garlic. Uniyapam. The chutney that served alongside the coconut chutney, <laughs> but I don't know if we need it. Hmm. Uniyapam. Yeah. It's a Kerala speciality. So the food here is a combination of all the four southern yes, states yes. and the north, of course. More emphasis on the South Indian food. How? Oh. North Indian just to fill. In case people want, there's a group of ten, mm. two of them from North India. They just want their roti and dal. For that sake, there is North Indian food. And what's also nice is that although we have a dosa, but the dosa is this pund dosa. Mm. So it's not <laughs> like your typical masala dosa or set dosa or an uttapam. Every menu has one type of a pancake. There is something called the Javarisi Adai. Sabaki on thala. Adra only on the Adai. It will melt in the mouth. Yeah. Mm. And there is a red chutney that comes along with it. Onion chutney. Onion chutney. That onion chutney is a little sweet. It has onion, bedige chilli, tamarind, jaggery, ah. coconut. Now was about that dumpala karam. 
So for some reason, I associate uh, <laughs> Chef Venkatesh Bhatt with this dish. So this afternoon when I was speaking to him and we were reminiscing some of our old memories on the phone, the first dish that came to mind was the Bada Karam. So basically, it's baby potatoes. Baby potatoes, right? yeah. Spiced baby potatoes. And I remember it very clearly because we did a recipe featuring this in our magazine. Food Lovers magazine when I was in South Indies. Correct. Mm. This is an Andhra dish with a Guntu red chilli paste. Mm. And a rice flour coating, so to give the crispiness on the potato. The potato is parboiled with salt and turmeric, and then removed and then marinated with this Andhra paste. And then deep fried. Then it is tossed with succulent onion slices and curry leaves. Mm. Curry leaves, onion, this potato which is fried already, just toss it and give it. There you go, you have the recipe for it's the Dumpala divine. Karam. <laughs> so, is this also part of your YouTube channel, the Dumpala Karam? Dumpala Karam, I don't think so, I've made it. Uh, you should make I it should. for my sake. <laughs> So how do you decide I'm going to do this recipe? You have got so many in your mind. There's a lot of requests that comes in. Mm. Mostly what happens is in the comment section, there is a lot of people who are asking, Sir, you take a ladle of the batter and then pour it. And then it bubbles and it comes up. And then the flower type of a shape comes because of the bubbling of the oil. You have to get the shape of the flower in the outside. Then the batter consistency is right. I'm not that very critical at home while eating. Well, mm -hmm. you're, you're yeah. a wise man too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Each one of your the South, South Indian nibbles that we've tasted have been absolutely <laughs> exciting. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!